Let's look at navigating in the Ambling Book Player within an audiobook itself. So I've got Alice's Adventures in Wonderland loaded, and I've been listening to it. And so now let's look at the two sections here at the top, and then we'll talk about the blue buttons. On the left side, we've got the, a slider bar for the entire book. So this is the title of the book. And as I move it left and right, you'll notice on the blue section, it's bouncing between chapters. So chapter 7, chapter 8, chapter 9. So that's one way, and that, those are big movements. Uh, on the right, I can grab the right slider bar and do the same thing within a chapter. Now, uh, these blue buttons are nice in that they're a little more refined movements. So say I'm ambling down the street, walking my dog, and my neighbor talks to me and, and says hello, and I didn't want to be rude and play, you know, press buttons on my cell phone while they're talking to me, so I just let the book play. So now, coming back to the book, I can click the one minute back button, and it'll pop it one, back one minute. So I went from 4.45 to 3.45, now 2.45, and then this button goes forward one minute. Uh, these do the same thing, 15 seconds back, 15 seconds forward, and you can find your place exactly where you were. Uh, that's one way of doing it. There's better ways. But then these two blue buttons, they're gro uh, grosser movements, bigger movements. So I'm in the middle of chapter 5. I, I wake up from my nap and realize that I've missed most of chapter 5. So I can click this button to go back to the beginning of chapter 5 or to the beginning of the previous chapter. So these buttons essentially move us by chapters. So we've got the two slider bars, we've got the forward and back a few seconds, and the chapter movement buttons.